this is a shot of the moon. And what I've done is I've added some animation. It's a still shot. I've added some animation so the moon moves. That's breathtaking. Tears, tears are coming out of my eyes. That was the most incredible piece of animation I have ever seen, except uh, it's kind of dead. I mean, all it is is the moon moving from one side of the frame to the other. It would be nice if, if I could have something enhance it. Well, that's where some of these other plugins come in. This is from Light Leaks Love. And as I skim across here, notice that we've got sort of these crystalline images which have a variety of shades. Now, none of this is something that I want to watch for a half an hour at a time. It's kind of boring standalone, but as we go through here, we, we have science fiction styles, which are shades of blue. We've got crystal styles. We have a variety of, of image elements that we can use to enhance a shot. For instance, here, let's just add this clip. And this is what it looks like. Now these effects are shot in camera, so they're working hard to create these light leaks and they're done in camera to give us the kind of light reflections that make this thing look normal. So how do I apply it? Select the clip, go to the video tab, go down to the bottom and change the blend mode. If we want to apply based upon the lighter elements, select screen. Whoops, turn off the, uh, there we go. And now let's just take a look at it. See how much more energy there is in that shot. It's not just the moon floating on the, the empty sky, but now we're getting all kinds of light reflections which calls attention to how really cool that shot looks. The way that we added it is we simply stacked the clip that's got the light leaks on it, on top of the clip that we want to apply them to, select the light leaks clip and change the blend mode to screen to combine highlights or overlay to combine midtones, which is much more subtle, or multiply to combine darker elements. Now in the case of things like light leaks and other flares of that sort, your best option is going to be screen. Let's go back down here again. We've seen that we can add the light leak to give ourselves a look. Well, let's take a look at this one right here. Hmm. We've got a spinning earth. We could use, uh, this could use something. So let's just go find, turn on skimming. That's kind of cool. Let's use this. So let's uh, grab the tail of this and make it shorter and drag it so remember whenever we want to have two images on screen at the same time we have to layer them and we'll select this clip this is going to be great just watch this we're going to set this to screen and there is the earth floating on top of this well hmm, maybe not maybe i need something a bit more dramatic yeah, that's better let's grab the clip Drag it down, wait for the top clip to turn white, and we're going to replace from the start. Okay. Oh, that's short? Not going to happen. Let's try another one. Oh, this will work. Let's just grab this one, drag it down. All right. Now, I've got my light on the left side. The earth is on the left side. So let's just trim this to fit. I could slow this down, but we'll just get the two clips to fit. Select it, go to the effects browser, keyboard shortcut is command five, and select all and type the word flip. I'm gonna type flip, but what comes out, I have no idea. So now we'll select it and it flips from left to right. And now we'll Go to the video tab, go down to the bottom, set this to screen, and it's gorgeous, almost. Well, kinda. If we play our clip here, problem is the earth is getting sort of washed out with all that screen stuff going on. 
Hmm. All right, so here's what we'll do. We'll hold the Option key down, and we'll drag the Earth on top. And now I've got the Earth on top, but I've lost all of my effects. So let's take advantage of a new feature in Final Cut, which is an improved masking tool. We'll turn off the flip so I can see all of my effects. Go to Masks, take the Draw Mask, and drop the Draw Mask on top. And let's click right there. Click another control point, click, hold, and drag, right about there. Match the shape of the curve. There we go. And then we'll click here, and then we'll click there. And I've now masked out the background. So let's just select this, select this. There's our Earth. And I'm going to click on this control point and just tweak the shape a bit so it fits a little bit better. Good. And beautiful thing. We're going to add a little bit of feathering going in just a bit and fall off right about there. So now I've got this nice soft edge, and we turn on our blend. So the earth is now sitting in front of our, our blend. And then we'll turn on the bottom one. We add the star field. Now when we play it, we can see that the aurora is going behind the earth, which seems to make more sense to me. It's a little bit too bright, so we'll go to the opacity, turn the opacity down just a little bit, so it doesn't look like we've got explosions going nearby. But is that not cool? Light Leak Love, you can learn more about their product, and I'm grateful to them for sharing their software with us today, is at lightleaklove.com. It's available at their website. It supports virtually every nonlinear editor on both Mac and Windows. Their collections range from $15 to $35. They create natural-looking light leak effects in camera, which add color, energy, and movement to video clips, and these QuickTime movies can be used in any NLE. It's not a plug-in, it's just video. This has been an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar taking a look at fire, light leaks, and effects using blend modes in both Final Cut Pro 10 and Adobe Premiere. For the complete version of this training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 174. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash subscriptions. And thanks.